Hello student, welcome to today's lesson. This is biology lesson for grade 12. In our today's lesson, we are going to see lesson 10, which is photosynthesis. Under this lesson, we are going to see types of photosynthesis, other types of photosynthesis. Student, at the end of this lesson, we will be able to explain reaction takes place in light reaction and dark reaction and again distinguish the difference between C3, C4 and the CAM photosynthesis. Well, photosynthesis is the most important process involved in energy transformation. It is one important process that nourishes the ecosystem. It is the process by which uh, green plants convert this light energy into chemical energy. There is a process of energy transduction takes place. It is a process by which green plants convert this inorganic molecule into another organic molecules, including carbohydrates. In the case, photosynthesis evolves the combination of two inorganic molecules plus plant chlorophyll where water and the carbon dioxide join together, it is the formation of carbohydrates, special glucose, hexose carbohydrate, plus oxygen, plus energy. By that, photosynthesis is one important process which is said to be anabolic one, because smaller molecules joined together to form a larger molecule. It is also considered as an endergonic process, because energy is stored in form of glucose here. Well then, photosynthesis, which is an energy nourishing, a process involved in nourishing ecosystem or sustaining ecosystem that it is takes place one of a membrane-bounded organelle called chloroplast. Student, do you know what by Ms. chloroplast to mean? Well then, chloroplast is one of double membranous organelle found in eukaryotic cell. Chloroplast, just like that of mitochondria, is well suited and adapted for its function because of the following reasons. One is, there is a presence of chlorophyll with another cofactor just like magnesium and the else photosensitive pigment found in thylakoid membrane. When each chlorophyll in the photosystem are linked to that of electron transport chain. Another, there is a presence of photosystems, photochemical reaction, just like photosystem 1 in the photosystem 2, and the electron carrier molecule fixed in thylakoid membrane. Else, there is a presence of fluid field structure called fluid stroma that contain enzymes. This in the else are very important reason why chloroplast is suited for its function. Well then, a structure of chloroplast, chloroplast looks like this one, where the site of photosynthesis takes place, where dark reaction takes place, the fluid stroma, where so many enzymes can be located, and the light independent reaction and the synthesis of glucose takes place in the stroma of chloroplast. Else, there is thylakoid membrane. There is granium, which is an stock of uh, thylakoid membrane is found here too. There is intermembrane space found here too again. There is inner membrane space and outer membrane space can be found here. Photosynthesis, just like that of respiration, there is two main phases where different reaction can be takes place. One phase is considered as light reaction, which is considered as light dependent reaction. When you say light dependent reaction, it is a reaction that takes place in this membrane, granium, which we call thylakoid membrane, depend on photon. Energy from light or that of photon can be takes place here. 
energy from photon depend on that of energy from photon here as a result we mean that photosynthesis to means a process of producing larger molecule or organic molecule based on energy from that of light scientists to mean that it is said to be manufacturing production by joining smaller molecules that or reaction that is takes place within a thylakoid membrane depend on that of energy from photon whereas the second phase of photosynthesis dark reaction or light independent reaction student do you think that when we say dark reaction it takes place in the dark no we mean that the reaction takes place in light independent or dark reaction doesn't require energy from photon so it takes place in fluid stroma of chloroplast one structure of chloroplast thylakoid membrane is suitable for light reaction where one structure of chloroplast which is called fluid field stroma is suitable for dark reaction well then student what do you think that photosystem to mean well it is a photochemical reaction where a complex of protein in the pigment molecule clustered around one chlorophyll molecule in thylakoid membrane set photosystem there are so many chlorophyll molecule where cofactor just like magnesium in the eels found there are so many photosensitive pigment found in thylakoid membrane for example this clustered of photosystem and the chlorophyll molecule found in thylakoid membrane is said to be antenna complex it is an array of protein in the chlorophyll molecule which is suited for light harvesting activity this cluster of pigment molecule is called antenna complex this is an array of protein and the chlorophyll that are embedded in thylakoid membrane which is suited for light harvesting activity an energy that are harvested by different pigment or chlorophyll molecule transferred to one reaction center molecule energy harvested by antenna complex here they are transferred to one reaction center molecule there are different chlorophyll molecules that is found in plant leaves for example there is chlorophyll b there is xanthophylls carotenoids chlorophyll a when from all chlorophyll a is considered as a reaction center molecule an energy captured by different antenna complex transferred to this reaction center molecule in here reaction center molecule or chlorophyll a there is the place where light dependent reaction start the activity or some reaction that takes place in light dependent reaction become takes place in here in the action of photosystem photosystem capture different wavelengths of light different antenna complex or an array of chlorophyll in the pigment molecule harvest different wavelengths of light which make the system of photos photosynthesis to become more efficient and effective when we see the structure of photosystem there is a reaction center molecule an energy captured by this antenna complex molecule where pigment and that of chlorophyll molecule found become transferred to here so here antenna complex is present electron transfer is present reaction center is present energy transfer is present it is nature energy neither created nor destroyed but can capable to transfer from one level to another based on this transmission it may be gain energy or loss of energy may be found here so here once energy from the photon become captured by antenna complex they transfer to that of reaction center molecule the first molecule that can accept energy transferred from one carrier is said to be primary electron acceptor here well then when we see there are two types of photosystem in thylakoid membrane 
these are photo system one and the photo system two which can have different absorptive wavelengths this both types of photosystem absorb with different absorbed spectrum that make the system of photosynthesis to become efficient and effective. Let's see. This photosystem one, which is located at outer surface of thylakoid membrane, with 700 absorbed spectrum or absorptive wavelengths. And again, this type is present in both cyclical and non-cyclical phosphorylation. There is a reaction called photolysis of water, but not associated with photolysis of water here. Whereas, photostem 2 is located at inner surface of thylakoid membrane with 680 absorptive wavelengths present only in non-cyclical phosphorylation and they again associated with photolysis of water. Well done, student. There are three main reactions that takes place over the surface of thylakoid membrane, which is very important in later reduction reaction in fluid stroma of chloroplasts, a light independent reaction. So the reaction takes place in thylakoid membrane is very important in driving light independent reaction. The first reaction that takes place within thylakoid membrane is photolysis of water. This photolysis of water takes place into oxygen and a proton here and a four electron here. There is four electron, there is four proton, there is oxygen and the water molecule. Later, there is phosphorylation reaction again, which is very important for providing energy for later re reduction reaction. There is no phosphorylation there is no production of NADP molecule in fluid stroma. But it depends on energy that can be provided from light-dependent reaction, and there are again protons that can be produced in light-dependent reaction. There is phosphorylation, there is NADP molecule. If we say there is proton transfer from one carrier to another, in respiration, the same is true for Photosynthesis, which is transferring proton, used as a proton transfer from one carrier to another in photosynthesis, which is not P here. Well done. So, this three main reaction is very important in light dependent reaction, which is very important for later reduction reaction in light independent reaction. Another most important phase of photosynthesis is dark reaction or light independent phase. A student, what do you think by dark reaction? Well, when we say dark reaction, it doesn't mean it takes place in the dark. But the reaction doesn't depend on light energy. But it is based on the product of light reaction, which is ATP and the reduced NAD pH molecule which is very important in production of glucose and other organic molecules. Mainly, this reaction is takes place in fluid stroma of chloroplasts, where the presence of many enzymes. This reaction is considered as Calvin cycle, carbon fixation, and again, reduction reaction. A student, the end product of photosynthesis can be determined by glucose, where glucose can be produced as a result of reduction reaction. Here, there is a proton from NADPH molecule that came from thylakoid membrane of light reaction, where ATP is consumed that is produced in thylakoid membrane as a result of phosphorylation reaction. There is three main stages in light independent reaction. This stage can be consequently seen as carbon fixation stage, reduction stage, and the regeneration stage. By fixation stage to mean when carbon dioxide becomes fixed from the atmosphere, 
that react with first carbon-5 molecule, which called rubulose biphosphate, to form carbon-6 molecule called phosphoglyceric acid. The first immediate molecule to which fixed carbon dioxide from the atmosphere react with is rubulose biphosphate, where the reaction is catalyzed by enzyme. The well-known enzyme that is involved in this process is considered as Rubisco enzyme. Rubisco enzyme can be catalyzed in two main manner. Here, where rubulose biphosphate bind or react with carbon dioxide in Calvin cycle. And again, in another case, it can be catalyzed the binding with that of oxygen. When Rubisco catalyzes binding of rubulose biphosphate with oxygen, we can say oxygen is here. If rubulose biphosphate binds with that of carbon dioxide, in this case, it can be considered as carboxylase. This enzyme can be catalyzed to reaction. When the concentration of carbon dioxide becomes below the optimum, it can react with oxygen. When the concentration of carbon dioxide can be found at its optimum, about 700 parts per million, it can be catalyzed carboxylase. So, fixation can be an enzyme catalyzed reaction. When carbon dioxide can be fixed from the atmosphere, reacting with rubulose biphosphate. The second stage is considered as reduction of carbon dioxide. By reduction of carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide becomes reduced to produce two carbon-3 molecules considered glycer diastereal phosphate. Here, carbon dioxide become here, reduced by the NADH molecule that came from earlier phase of photosynthesis, light phase. Here, there is a proton here. This can be very important in production of two glycer diastereal phosphate molecule. By reduction, two means reduction of carbon dioxide by NADPH molecule, to form two glycer diastereal phosphate molecule, which is efficient for production of one glucose molecule. Here, during the reduction reaction, NADPH molecule used, and again ATP molecule used. When ATP molecule used, it can be break down into respective ADP molecule and again inorganic phosphate molecule. Because ATP is come to release energy, there is no production of ATP during this pathway. Rather, there is utilization of ATP. The third most important step of Calvin cycle is regeneration step. This regeneration can be involved in regenerating rubulose biphosphate, first immediate carbon-5 molecule, rubulose biphosphate, from glycer diastereal phosphate. During this pathway, two glycer diastereal phosphate is very important to make one glucose molecule. Which I mean, one glucose molecule can be made from two glycer diastereal phosphate molecule, where else can be involved in regenerating rubulose biphosphate molecule. Orderly, fixation of carbon dioxide, and again, reduction of carbon dioxide in the regeneration of rubulose biphosphate is the three main stages that takes place in Calvin cycle. This can be explained in form of this one. Rubisco can be fixed atmospheric carbon dioxide, which can bind with that of five carbon uh, molecule called rubulose biphosphate, which is important in formation of two glycer diastereal phosphate molecule. Two of them can be important in formation of glucose, where else can be important in regeneration of rubulose biphosphate molecule. Well then, Calvin cycle needs six turns to produce this two glycer diastereal phosphate molecule, or which is equivalent to triose phosphate, which is important for makeup of one glucose molecule, where one turn of Calvin cycle needs three ATP molecule and two NADPH molecule to produce one glucose molecule. Let's say here, one glucose molecule made from two glycer diastereal phosphate molecule, which need about six turns, where one of the turns can be 
consume about 3 ATP molecule and again 2 NADP molecule, which is here. From 6 term, this can be consumed about 18 ATP molecule. That can break down into that of 18 ADP molecule plus 18 inorganic phosphate molecule. And again, there is again 12 NAD pH can be used here. That can be in form of oxidation here. 12 NAD H, NAD P become oxidized, which can be later used about 12 NAD H can be used in makeup of this 2 NAD pH molecule. Generally, Calvin cycle needs 6 turns to produce 2 glycer 3 phosphate molecule which is efficient or enough to make one glucose molecule, where one turn of the cycle can need about three ATP molecule, and again, two NAD pH molecule. Generally, production one glucose molecule, consume 18 ATP molecule, and again, 12 NAD pH molecule. This is how glucose can be made in fluid stream of chloroplast. Student, there is another type of photosynthesis in addition to this one. The first type of photosynthesis is C3 photosynthesis. This type of photosynthesis largely experienced in temperate environments. This type of photosynthesis most probably takes place in broad-lived plants. It is considered as C3 photosynthesis because the first compound formed in Calvin cycle evolves or contain carbon-3 atom, which we call glycer diphosphate. Here, fixation of carbon dioxide in the system takes place in mesophyll cell. Mesophyll cell. Fixation of carbon dioxide in the process takes place in mesophyll cell. For example, Plant just like tomatoes, plant like potatoes, spinach, and the barley, totally broad-leaved plants are following these types of photosynthesis. For example, equationally, there is fixation of carbon dioxide here. Rubulose biphosphate is binding with carbon dioxide. In now this case, rubulose biphosphate carboxylase is evolved, no toxicness, because it is an enzyme that catalyzes two reactions. Reaction between carbon dioxide, reaction between oxygen. Here, the compound formed here is 2-glycer phosphate, which is equivalent to production of one glucose. One glucose molecule produced here. In the case, these plants may be have certain limitation upon certain condition. In hot tropical environment, if there is hotness activity encountered or hotness activity manifests them, they change their adaptation. They will try to close their stomata, stomata which is a pore of exchange of gas, carbon dioxide and oxygen. Here, when the stomata become closed, the entry of carbon dioxide become limited. When stomata become closed, they are going to conserve water. Loss of water or moisture involve in form of evapotranspiration. Together, there is a limitation of carbon dioxide encountered here. When carbon dioxide limitation or the amount or optimum carbon dioxide at which they can photosynthesize become limited, Rubisco become catalyze the process in unusual manner. Which you mean? One, this type of plants may not be adapted at higher temperature. If temperature become increased, they close their stomata to prevent loss of water. And again, if the concentration of carbon dioxide become low, Rubisco may be catalyzed, not catalyzed as the original manner. Instead, Rubisco behave in unusual manner when that allow rubulose biphosphate to become bind with that of oxygen instead of carbon dioxide. In this manner, oxygen has become catalyzed the process. The system by which C3 plants behave in this manner 
reaction between rubulose biphosphate and the oxygen in a state of carbon dioxide is said to be photorespiration. Well then, there are two main reactions that takes place in this manner. One is Rubisco catalyst a reaction between oxygen and the rubulose biphosphate in a state of carbon dioxide. And again, there is a formation of one glycerides three phosphate in a state of two glycerides three phosphate. And again, formation of another one phosphoglycolate. So here, a glycerides three phosphate formed in this process is not efficient and effective for production of one glucose molecule. Here, rubulose biphosphate plus oxygen because the amount of carbon dioxide in the leaf is not sufficient enough for production of this glycerides three phosphate. So, it forms one glycerides three phosphate, which is not enough for synthesis of glucose. And again, one phosphoglycolate. Here, plant may not be stopped the synthesis of glucose, which is the source of energy, source of diet for another organism that can pass in a food chain. So here, phosphoglycolate must be converted into that of glycerides phosphate in the process, evolving chloroplast, peroxome, and mitochondria consequently. These three organs are very important in conversion of phosphoglycolate into that of glycerides phosphate. These are two main reactions that take place in photorespiration when C3 plants close their stomata during hot condition. Well then, so photorespiration reduces an efficiency of photosynthesis than any other plant by about 25% than another plant because of the following two reasons. Photorespiration, by the way, when certain compounds react with oxygen, would that doesn't mean that it is reduction reaction. Rather, it is considered as an oxidation reaction, which is a reverse of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, it is a reduction reaction that. Photosynthesis, a reduction reaction. Another, there is resynthesis of rubulose biophosphate from phosphoglycolate here. By these two main reactions, photorespiration reduces the efficiency of photosynthesis. The another very important type of photosynthesis C4 photosynthesis. This type of photosynthesis is largely experienced in tropical environment, including Ethiopia. These plants are considered as C4 photosynthesis because the first compound formed in light independent reaction contain carbon four molecule called oxaloacetate. In addition, we have seen there is an enzyme that catalyzes C3 photosynthesis. Here too, there is an enzyme that catalyzes C4 photosynthesis, which we call phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase or PEPCO enzyme. As a result, the reaction is an enzyme controlled. So let's say phosphoenol pyruvate plus carbon dioxide. In the same manner, fixation of carbon dioxide in C4 plants takes place in mesophyll cell. The action where carbon fixation and again light independent reaction or Calvin cycle takes place in different cells. But in light independent reaction of C3 plants, both light independent reaction and the carbon fixation takes place in mesophyll cell. But here, light independent reaction and the Calvin cycle takes place in support cell. By that, there is a spatial separation of cells experienced here. There is phosphonyl pyruvate, there is carbon dioxide which is fixed in mesophyll cell, enzyme phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase, formation of four carbon molecule. One adaptation of C4 plant is, even if the temperature become high, they can experience the system of photosynthesis. 
If the concentration of carbon dioxide in the leaf become low, it can experience the system photosynthesis. By that, C4 plants overcome the process of photorespiration. By that, tropical plants are considered as highly productive over C3 plants. Under the following condition, if C4 plants are very effective. If the concentration of carbon dioxide become low in the leaf, there is no other alternative carried out by C4 plants. Rather, they can continue to become photosynthesized. Because these plants can be positioned in tropical environment, they capture high light intensity. And again, there is high temperature. This is why C4 plant is widely productive over C3 plants. Well done, student. Some comparison between C3 and C4 plants. When we say C3 plant, there is a bundle chest with no chloroplast. But here, there is a bundle chest with a chloroplast and a nortilicot. No oxygen production, no photorespiration. Here, the system of fixing carbon dioxide in both process can be catalyzed by enzyme, where C3 plants can be catalyzed by Rubisco. One here, carboxylase, when carbon dioxide becomes fixed. When here, this one is when carbon dioxide. And again here, oxygen is when rubulose biphosphate becomes react with that of oxygen. But here only, there is PEPCO that of phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase, which catalyzes the reaction between rubulose biphosphate and the carbon dioxide. Else, both C3 and C4 plants have their own optimum temperature at which their enzyme become properly catalyze the reaction. If the temperature become low, these C3 plants catalyze the reaction between rubulose biphosphate and carbon dioxide. If the temperature become high, they close their stomata in the prefer reaction between rubulose biphosphate and oxygen. But here, if the temperature high, they can continue a reaction between phosphonyl pyruvate plus carbon dioxide. So, C4 plants experienced in higher temperature when compared to C3 plants. And again here, they have different optimum carbon dioxide, which we call, if the concentration of carbon dioxide become high, about 700 parts per million C3 plants experience, this can be about 400 parts per million at lower carbon dioxide they can experience. So, increasing in concentration of carbon dioxide is very effective for C3 plants to be carried out. Here again, both fixation of carbon dioxide and again Calvin cycle in C3 plants takes place over a mesophyll cell. Wherein, Fixation of carbon dioxide takes place in mesophyll cell in C4 plants. And again, Calvin cycle, production of sugar takes place within a bundle chest cell. By that, we say this one is spatial separation. Spatial separation of Calvin cycle in the fixation of carbon dioxide. Well done, student. Another very important type of photosynthesis that's largely experienced in hot desert condition is calm or crassulicean acid metabolism. I hope we are familiar with what by Miss Desert to mean. It is a condition or an area or balm in which higher temperature and low precipitation or rainfall is present. By that, this type of plants can be experience or adapt their own adaptation, which I mean they have a seasonal or temporal adaptation, not a spatial adaptation, which I mean they are adapted to close their stomata during the daytime when the temperature become high to reduce the rate of evapotranspiration. If the rate of evapotranspiration become high, and the plants open their stomata, plant may be get dry. 
the rate of photosynthesis become going to zero. By that, they develop their strategy to close their stomata during daytime when temperature high to overcome the system of water loss. And again, they open their stomata temporarily or seasonally during the night time to carry out carbon fixation. So, carbon fixation in calm photosynthesis takes place during a night time when the temperature in the leaf become low. It takes place over a night. This fixation of carbon dioxide takes place in mesophyll cell, just like C3 in the C4 plants, where this carbon dioxide fixed become react with that of phosphoenol pyruvate, just like that of C4 photosynthesis, to form four carbon compounds oxalostate and malate. Most probably, the reaction that takes place in calm photosynthesis and the C4 photosynthesis can be similar, except special in the temporal adaptation of photosynthesis, where a mallet that can be produced in the process is stored within a vacuole over a night. During a daytime, mallet released from that of the vacuole and they break down that of glycerate to produce a sugar and another molecule. So, one critical adaptation that can photosynthesis develop is they can close and open their stomata based on the condition in which they can photosynthesize. Well done, student. Briefly, when we see an evolutionary adaptation of C4 in the calm photosynthesis, it can be seen or observed in this manner. For example, sugarcane, which carry out carbon fixation in mesophyll cell and the Calvin cycle in bundle cell. And again here, this reaction takes place during a daytime. Whereas here, fixation of carbon dioxide takes place during a night time when the temperature in the leaf become reduced. And again, during the daytime, mallet released from that of a vacuole from where they can be stored to be continue production of glycerin 3 phosphate to continue the process. By that, because post reaction of light dependent and the light independent reaction, Calvin cycle in the carbon fixation takes place in different cells. They are said to be a spatial separation of photosynthesis here. A spatial separation step is carried out. Here, but because both carbon fixation and the Calvin cycle takes place at different time, fixation during the night time and the Calvin cycle during the daytime, we call this one is said to be temporal adaptation. Student, in our today's lesson, we have seen what the biomes photosynthesis to mean. As it is very important process in transducing of energy from one reaction to another which is very important in nourishing our ecosystem. We have seen as there are two main phases in photosynthesis, which is light dependent and the light independent reaction, where these two reactions can be interconnected or interact by two main products that are produced over a thylako membrane, ATP and NADPH molecule. We have seen again, Light independent reaction is very important reaction in which reduction reaction for production of sugar is present, evolving three consecutive stage, carbon fixation, reduction in the regeneration reaction. Generally again, we have seen the difference between C3, C4, and the calm photosynthesis by seeing as carbon fixation can be commonly takes place in mesophyll cell. Finally, again, we have seen C4 plants may be evolved with a spatial separation step of photosynthesis, where calm can be follow temporal or seasonal adaptation of photosynthesis. Additionally, C3 plants may be experienced the system by which Rubisco can catalyze both oxygenase and that of carboxylase, reaction with carbon dioxide and that of oxygen respectively when the condition in the leaf become hot. 
This is all about today's lesson. Goodbye, students.